Well, I was inspired by today's project. We talked a little while ago that I thought I was going to do something paisley because <laughs> I wanted something very intricate. But like Heidi said, I didn't want to draw it out myself. Well, what came to me, this brilliant stroke of creative genius, <laughs> was that my dear friend Juliana Hudgens has just designed these new dies for Spellbinders. Mm -hmm. And so you can see in this goddess design that she did all the work for me. Yes. So she's doing prints and patterns already for you in this new Spellbinders die. So I created, well, a whole bunch of goddesses. For my project, I am using Juliana Hudgens' new goddess dies. You can see their beautiful body shapes. There's the prints and the patterns that I'm looking for for today's theme. I am using the Grand Caliber machine to cut all of my pieces with these dies. Because I am using the soda cans from Eco Heidi's Soda Can Collection, I'm using the smaller die. The soda cans are not quite large enough to be able to fit the large die, and so this small goddess body shape is just perfect. The first thing that you want to do is to cut the soda can apart so that you have a piece that you can flatten out. What you need to do is gently roll it in the opposite direction to try and coax it to lay flat. They do have a memory of their own, so it's a little bit harder to get them to lay out flat. You can see it's almost flat, but that's perfect. When it comes time to cut your design, what you want to do is lay, you can see this is where the actual cut line is. We're going to lay that face down on the right side of our design. So the right side in this case is the silver side of the soda can. So you're going to place this down and then run this through the Spellbinders Grand Caliber with your cutting pad. Then once you put it through the cutting, you are going to put it back through and emboss it with the embossing pads. And that's what we have right here. So I cut this first. You can see that here's my soda can that's been cut. Then I put it back through with the embossing plates and pad and you can see the design has picked up here. So what you want to do is just press this out up here. And there is that beautiful body shape with my patterns. If I wanted to add more texturing to this, I would just use an embossing stylus, one of those ballpoint stylus and then you would lay this on to, say, a piece of craft foam and that you could draw in more designs if you'd like to. I think this is just perfect. What you want to do next is decide where you want to put your colors. I use the Jacquard Pinata alcohol inks. They are really bright. I like to use a cosmetic sponge for each of the colors, so I just cut my sponge apart, put it onto a paper towel because you're going to have a lot of color. So this is the chili pepper and lime green. And as you can see, I have just squeezed it right on. You can dab this. I like just pressing and dabbing this. You could pull it if you wanted to. That gives you a completely different look. But I just start adding the color, spreading the color, and then I'm keeping this one for that red, so I want to grab another cosmetic sponge for the green. Let's add some Baja Blue and a little bit of purple.
there you can see the really bright and beautiful colors. And you can also see the pattern that remains after you add your alcohol inks. The next thing I like to do is use my Pinata Color Extender. And when you spray this on, it's going to shift the color a little bit. So that adds just one more dimension of texture to that color. So you're going to want to let this set aside to dry completely. But while this piece is drying, you can work on your other shapes. Some of the other shapes in Juliana's collection are stones. These are perfect to use in between your goddess shapes. If you are creating hanging pieces, it's great to use these as spacers in between. So I've done the same thing with these. I've cut them on my grand caliber, and then I embossed them, and now they are ready to color. A little bit of color goes a long ways. So I'm going to keep going and applying my magenta. You can see it gets a little bit lighter than what I had on the first piece. And you can also see that when I put these through the embossing that it left a pattern on the soda can. Finish coloring all of the extra pieces that you want to use as spacers between your goddess body. And the next step I want to show you is how I punch these to get them ready for hanging. Before I punch and assemble my goddess, I want to show you how I created the head and the face. For this piece, I only use the option of embossing. So this is the swirl design that I embossed into the soda can. And what that does is it gives me a really nice pattern in the soda can without cutting it out completely. So you have to be very careful to gently pull it out. Then what I can do is I can take my scissors and cut around the design to the shape of the head. And I leave extra because we're going to put jump rings in there to add some wire. But I just wanted to let you know you might want to experiment just a little bit to use only the embossing option rather than cutting all the way through. So that's what I did for the head and actually for some of the other pieces. I did the same thing on the hands where I used only embossing and then you can cut out around in whatever shape that you want. The same thing for the crown on my goddess's head. I only used the embossing plates. To create the rings that I use to assemble all my pieces, you take your craft wire, just roll it around. I have a pencil here, whatever tool that you have that would be the size of the rings that you want. And this is probably a 24 gauge wire. So you run it around and then, I don't cut every single loop. I actually want these to go twice into my holes. So you'll notice that I'm cutting every other loop. So continue to cut enough of these so that you can use them to assemble your pieces together. I also take other colors of wire and I use my round nose pliers to actually um, loop them around, swirl them around. Let's see if I can get this to where you can see it. There you go. 
and swirl it around to create extra hair for her. So you'll want to create those pieces also as it comes time to assemble her. So to um, punch your holes, I just use my small punch and punch right in close to the edge, but without getting too close. But you want to make sure that your rings are going to be the right size. So on the body, I'm just punching top and bottom. And on the head, you can see I did lots of punches, top and bottom, and then extra holes on the side to put in her wire hair. And it's so easy to just loop these right in, bring them all the way through so that they don't come back off. So I have now this jump ring on the head, and then I will do the same thing on the body. And continue to add your jump rings to put all of your pieces together. And I also use these then for her hair. Get the end of that to go down in there so I can make sure that I can get it all the way through the two pieces. Perfect. So I'm going to continue to add my jump rings to put my pieces together. Let me show you my progress. I've used my jump rings to connect the crown to the head. I used the spiral die in the embossing plate only because I didn't want it to cut out all the way. That's for the face and the head. We have our beautiful goddess body with all of the patterning. And then I used the stone shape, the heart, and the kite. So I joined all of those together. To finish off her hair, these are the wire pieces that I showed you. And I just slip them through the hole and then bring the end up through the next hole. And we're going to cut this a little bit shorter. And then I use my round pliers to create another swirl and then use my fingers to finish it off. I like to give them wild hair and just keep adding wire through each of the holes to finish off her hair. If you'd like to do more embellishing, you can add rhinestones and jewels to any piece in this collection. And if you're like me, you won't want to stop with just one. As you can see, I put a whole collection of goddesses and the treasure pieces and the stone pieces. I joined them all together for a fun piece of wall art. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. Huh, there's the <laughs> table turn. Okay, <laughs> what inspired you to do it on that? <laughs> My sister Eco Heidi inspired me because <laughs> you did the fish sculpture. Mm -hmm. And when I first saw it, you know I went gaga over it. Right, because I did the little pins first, which we never even showed. Right. You know what? Let's show those on um, Almost those Dailies. dailies this, yeah, the this little week. fish. Yeah. She, you know, Heidi did the, the big sculpture from soda cans, and you used your embossing um, stylus, 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 which has the little ball point mm -hmm. on the end, and mm -hmm. you put your prints and patterns into it. Right. So when I was helping her clean up her table, there was this little tiny cute little fish pin. Uh -huh. And I loved it. Yeah. And and that was so funny because then she just she just went, okay, where's the where's the soda cans? Do you have more to cut? <laughs> right. Because I, I said, oh my gosh, I have to use Juliana's new spellbinders dies. And um and then I went, 
Okay, what's the largest size of soda can that you have? Because this is the largest die. Yeah. Well, I couldn't use it with the soda cans, but you can certainly use it with other fabric. You know, I have a new can, and I'm wondering. We never looked at that new can to see if it would fit. Yeah, we have to figure out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that does that go around? And so, like a mad woman, a mad scientist, I was <laughs> a in goddess, there. A mad a goddess. goddess. <laughs> yeah, I was empowered. I took in the goddess energy, and then I grabbed my new pinata inks. And, and it's like every step it was wow, wow, wow. And Heidi said, do you want to try this? Do you want to try that? And so that it, cool? it all came together for me. And so this is going to go on a whole collection mm -hmm. on, on a wall. And so Very that's cool. how I was inspired. <laughs> and you know, when you craft every day in your design studio, there's some projects that just seem to feed your energy more. Mm -hmm. This is one of those projects from the shape of the goddess to the colors of the inks and pulling it all together. It's so empowering and that's exactly the message that Juliana wanted right. from her dyes to help empower women. And um, you can, there, there's so many different ways that you can take this dye and translate it into more of a mannequin shape. You can mm -hmm. do paper dolls. You can you can use it like I did. There's many different ways. I love it. I love right. the colors, beautiful mm -hmm. colors.